Well, if you didn't know, today is World AIDS Day. It's a day set aside every year for people to unite in the fight against HIV. In less than an hour, one special event in Orlando will be hosting a celebration for long-term survivors. The CDC said Florida ranks near the top with new HIV infections. And it all comes as one Orlando center seeks to create a functional cure. News 6's Brian Didlake has more. These are individuals that have uh, passed due to HIV or AIDS. A Gabriela Rodriguez with the Central Florida HIV Council showing quilts to be displayed at the World AIDS Day Vigil. It's an annual event meant to honor those impacted by HIV or AIDS. I think it's important to recognize, right, the lack of conversation, the importance of conversation. So I think days like World AIDS Day allow us to highlight that. Florida currently ranks second for the highest rates of new HIV cases, according to the CDC. As of last year, 4,700 new cases of HIV were reported in the state. Rodriguez saying Orange County among the top five counties in the nation for new cases. Those, those numbers are teaching us to, that we probably really need to do a better job in, term, in terms of outreach. Federico Inestro with the Orlando Immunology Center says they are working to get results. Doctors are saying medicine has come a long way to the point where a person living with HIV can become undetectable. And once undetectable, they can no longer transmit the virus. The center now making new strides in research in a clinical trial for a therapeutic vaccine that may create a functional cure. Not for the person who's negative, they are for the person who is positive uh, and is also a vaccine that is kind of teaching the immune system how to defend itself against HIV. But I think that would help completely eliminate the stigma that was created in the 80s of you're dirty, you're going to die even though that's no longer the case. Marshall Turner with the LGBTQ Center of Orlando tells me he is hopeful of the results, but says even if a functional cure is created, safe sex practices are still important. Because there are many other things other than HIV. Uh, the Orlando Immunology Center says it's still too early to see any results from their therapeutic vaccine. As the study is ongoing, the center is working with other trials to further combat HIV or AIDS. The LGBTQ Plus Center of Orlando, as well as the Orlando Immunology Center, are both urging people to get tested and offer tests as well. We're in the newsroom. Brian Ditlake getting results. News 6.